The Floating Princess Once upon a time, there was a king and queen who wanted a child very badly. After many years of waiting, they finally had a baby daughter named Princess Lilia. The king and queen were delighted, but when the princess was born, it was clear something was very unusual about her. For some unknown magical reason, Princess Lilia floated in the air. The royal nursemaid tried to catch the floating baby princess, but she just drifted higher. The king called for the royal doctor, who was completely baffled. No matter what they did, the princess could not be grounded. She bobbed along near the ceiling, laughing and giggling as if it was a fun game. Over the years, Princess Lilia never lost her ability to float. She could will herself to float higher or lower, but she could never stand on the ground like normal people. The king and queen were very distressed that their daughter would never be able to walk properly. Our daughter must learn to focus and walk like other princesses, said the queen. But how? They summoned magicians and witches from all over the kingdom, but no one had a cure for the princess's unusual condition. Princess Lilia simply bounced along in the air without a care in the world. The only time she floated downwards was when she slept. But the moment she woke up, pop. Up to the ceiling, she drifted. The older Princess Lilia grew, the less she seemed concerned about being different. She viewed the world from a unique vantage point and saw things nobody else could see. While the queen worried endlessly, the princess found joy in her aerial life. However, the king had not given up hope for a cure. One day he proclaimed, Whoever can find a way to bring our daughter's feet back to the ground will be rewarded with half my kingdom. This caught the attention of princes far and wide. Many princes tried tying ropes around Princess Lilia, but she simply slipped out and floated up. Others built great contraptions of weights and pulleys which failed miserably. The princess always floated blissfully away. The king was discouraged, but a noble prince named Percival vowed he would find a way to help Princess Lilia. He travelled to the far corners of the kingdom, gathering rare magical ingredients. He ground unicorn horns into dust, collected dragon tears, and brewed mystic potions. Returning to the castle, Prince Percival begged the princess to drink his potion. This may be the cure we've waited for, he said hopefully, but Princess Lilia just giggled and drifted out of reach. I do not wish to be stuck on the ground, she said. I like my life just the way it is. Percival was heartbroken, for he had fallen deeply in love with the floating princess. He realized she did not share his wish to cure her condition. But he could not bear to live without her. He decided on one final desperate plan to reach Princess Lilia's heart. Percival ventured to the deepest lake in the realm, whose bottom was said to hide a monstrous beast. In his research to find a cure for the princess, he came to know that a scale from this legendary monster has the capacity to cure any illness. The villagers warned him not to disturb the legendary monster, but the brave prince dove into the dark water on his quest. Down he plunged to the murky depths. As he swam deeper, an enormous creature rose from the shadows, a dragon with razor claws and glowing eyes. Percival's heart pounded with terror, but his desire to save the princess gave him courage. As the furious dragon charged, jaws snapping, Percival held up his magic shield and unsheathed his sword. The brave prince battled the monstrous dragon with all his might. Though slashed and battered, he would not give up. Finally, Percival plunged his sword into the dragon's heart. As it sank back into the depths, defeated, Percival grabbed a glowing scale from its neck as the token of victory. His lungs nearly bursting, Percival kicked desperately towards the sunlit surface far above. Just as his strength gave out, he breached the water and took deep gulps of air. He had survived the dragon's lair, but at a grave cost. Weak from blood loss, 
the prince dragged himself back to the castle. My princess, he gasped, I vanquished the beast, but my wounds are fatal. I only wish to see you one last time and give you this gift. Please take this dragon scale. It can cure you if you ever feel like it. Princess Lilia was startled to see the battered prince. For the first time, she felt the pang of fear at nearly losing him. The princess floated down and for once remained unmoving, taking Percival's hand. You were willing to sacrifice everything for me, she said, moved to tears. As the teardrops fell from her eyes, Princess Lilia slowly sunk down until both feet were firmly planted on the ground. The entire court gasped in shock. Her floating curse had been broken. Your tear has the power to break the curse, exclaimed the prince with joy. Relief washed over him. Princess Lilia embraced Percival, now able to stand tall. Have a happy life, princess, Percival said. His eyes started to close and he sunk to the ground. The princess, with tears streaming down her face, held him tight and with a gentle hand placed the dragon scale on Percival's chest. Then she closed her eyes and prayed to the scale to save Percival, for that was her only wish now. A golden light slowly glowed from the scale and it immersed Percival in its glory. After a short while, the scale vanished along with the light. As the princess looked at Percival's face, he slowly opened his eyes and smiled. United at last, the prince and princess were married. Princess Lilia never floated aimlessly again. Though she missed the aerial views, she found freedom using her own two feet. She learned to truly cherish the ground beneath her and the gravity that kept her close to those she loved.